so good afternoon student so today we have discussed a experiment on determination of total hardness so the aim is to determine the total hardness of given water sample as per is3025 so firstly we can see what is in by hardness so water that has high minerals contain that is calcium and magnesium is known as a hard water hard water contain bicarbonate chloride sulfate of calcium and magnesium when created hard water with soap it gets precipitated in the form of insoluble salt of calcium and magnesium hardness of water is a measure of the total concentration of calcium and magnesium ion expressed as a calcium carbonate so there are two types of hardness so first one is the temporary hardness second one is a permanent hardness so what about temporary hardness temporary hardness is due to presence of bicarbonate calcium and magnesium it can easily remove by boiling and permanent hardness is due to presence of chloride and sulfate of calcium and magnesium this is called as a permanent hardness so permanent hardness it cannot be removed by boiling the permanent hardness remove removed by advanced method like lime soda process or zeolite process so we can find out the hardness for following practicals the equipment is used burette then pipette then pipette blub conical flask then cylinder wash bottle and beakers so following are the chemical is used ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide edta edt means ethylene diamine tetraacetate acid erythrum black tea and magnesium sulfate so this is a apparatus required this is a pipette then measuring cylinder standard flask wash bottle then uh, pipette then conical flask beaker burette i mean this is overall is a burette stand so these are the chemical required so for the first the procedure so first we can take the 200 ml of the uh, water sample so take and then add the 2 ml of ammonia buffer solution for the conical flask then um, fill the burette with the edta solution up to zero mark then add the two drop of the uh, erythrome black tea indicator then color change to a color uh, pink then write it against edta with solution and then continue till the color changes to still blue then calculate the total hardness so we can use the simulation technique for the determination of, of hardness so first determination of the hardness so first we can go through the standardization of the edta solution so edta means ethylene diamine tetraacetate acid so first fill the burette with standard edta solution up to the zero mark so first fill the burette then open the knob of the bottle and fill up to the zero mark then add the 10 ml of 0.01 calcium carbonate solution to the conical flask through the pipette go to next step so ammonia buffer solution is added for removing the interference of the practicals so take a two three drop of ammonia buffer solution
then the experiment why ammonia buffer solution added to the sample so it answer is to maintain the constant ph so add the three to four drop of the erythrum black tea indicator to the conical flask So titrate the EDTS solution till the color change to blue. So titrate the color is changed to up to the blue color is formed. So your initial protein is zero and final protein is 10 ml. So the formula CSA equivalence to one ml of EDTA volume of CSA divided by volume of EDTA. So one answer is a one degree plus one parts of CSA three CSA three per parts of water so 70000 per parts of water so the next sample titration so in sample titration fill the burette with standard ready solution by previous method Then go to the next step. Add 100 ml of water sample to the conical flask with help of pipette. Then hardness that cannot be removed by boiling or boiling may is called as a temperate hardness, permanent hardness, both A and B and none of these. So hardness that cannot be removed by boiling or hardness cannot be removed by boiling is called as a permanent hardness. So add the one ml of ammonia buffer solution by automatic pipette to conical flask. So I add the one ml of ammonia buffer solution to the conical flask. So go to the next step. Add three to four drops of ericum black tea. So ericum black tea titers used for detect the presence rate of earth metal. It is a true. Answer is true. Then go to the next step. Then titer the EDTA solution till the color change to blue. So titer the solution with the help of this knob. Mm -hmm. 
So titration is carried out until the sample change the color from wine red to blue. So this is observation table of the total hardness. The total hardness for using this formula A into B into 1000 divided by C. So value of A is equal to 5.3. So this is a uh, 5.3 into B. Value of B is a 1 into well into 1000 divided by value of C 100. So the answer is 53. So the answer is correct. So which of the which of the following is not a unit of the hardness? So degree of centigram. So the last the limit of hardness as per BI standard is 300 per mg per layer. So if the value of it is a true or false, it is its answer is true. So the limit of hardness as per BI standard, BI means Bureau of Indian Standard is 300 mg per liter. The total hardness of given water sample is 53 mg per liter by the previous calculation. So it is a BI standard range and safe for drinking purpose. Okay. So next practical will be continued in next lecture.